Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to introduce to you another Android setup that you may like and I'm going to be showing you a new app today. So let's go ahead and see what I have going on. So I also have I2P running right now. I have I2P running. Not only do I have I2P running, I also have Tor running and a secure DNS running. So how did I do all that in the same application? Well, something called Invisible Pro. It's an application I think you're going to love. Uh, it's similar to Orbot. So if you're familiar with Orbot, which I've covered in previous videos, Orbot is something that will allow you to either set up to proxy Tor connections or you can actually Torify your entire phone and have it running like a VPN. Now, you can do this all with... Invisible Pro. And Invisible Pro is a free application, so you don't have to pay to try it. It's not nothing like that. Um, it's something that I only recently started running and looking at, so today I'm just introducing it, and we may go into more of the settings later. Uh, to start off, first install it from F-Droid, or wherever you may find it. Make sure you get the legitimate one, of course. Now, if somebody were to target for mass surveillance, of course, there may be fake versions out there. So keep in mind that mass surveillance relies sometimes on putting out fake applications that have backdoors in them. That is a real thing, and it has been known to happen. Sometimes encryption applications, just make sure you know where you're getting your applications from, and that's just a safety tip of the day. Uh, so what you want to do is enable the access to the I2P network with purple I2P. So it's I2PD, so you're running a lighter I2P version uh, in the background. So an I2P router, it's automatically done for you. All you have to do is select that, get this all enabled, then hold that button in to start it. As you can see, it would stop it, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. Since it takes I2P a few minutes to get all the tunnels built, you can take a look at the logs of the I2P. You can also take a look at the Tor logs as well, and you can even take a look at the DNS logs. So this actually sets up a secure DNS where you can actually do DNS requests using encryption, so protecting you from being redirected and proxying your connection, such as your ISP, which may, if they wanted to, they can proxy DNS, and ISPs have been caught doing this. In fact, I caught my previous ISP doing this, and they had a partnership with an advertising company, which we know, advertising company, sometimes there's more than what it appears. There was something called Bear Fruit, which was redirecting, uh, proxying your DNS requests in order to, say, serve you ads. But, you know, we really don't know if that was the only reason for it. I'm not going to go into uh, theories on that here. But let's go ahead and open it up and see that we have our DNS. We can actually go to dnsleaktest.com to check our DNS servers. So what you're looking for is you want to make sure you're not using your ISP DNS. So if you've done this right, you'll actually be using the DNS servers provided in Invisible Pro. So that's for normal web connections. So this browser is set up for normal you know, web connections, but proxied through the Tor network. So as you can see, it's not my actual IP address. Um, so as we know with Tor, you know, in general, you know, you're using the exit node to perform DNS requests. So that is the proper way to use Tor because, of course, you don't want um, your DNS requests being done and leaking out domains, things along that nature. So I have that set up. I also have Privacy Browser. Now you can see I'm running I2P. So all of this is inside the Invisible Pro app. So if you get Invisible Pro, you'll have all of this ready to go to start it up. You can take a look at some of the settings and we're gonna go through those. Now, if you get Privacy Browser, I did a shorts video on that before. If you wanna use it as the I2P browser, simply go to your proxy settings there, hit the I2P and you'll be able to visit I2P addresses. Uh, so we have that set up with I2P and we're on planeta.i2p at the moment where you can find a lot of great news and interesting links. Uh, so check that out as well. Um, and when we go over to our IP location, it shows that we are a Tor exit node, as you can see. And when we go over to our Invisible Pro again, we can then go through some of these settings and just show you some of the basics. So we have these fast settings here we can go through. Uh, routes all traffic through Tor, set to enabled. Um, you can even exclude different sites. You can uh, go through several different settings. We're going to go through some more of these. So we go down here, common settings. 
Uh, you can even do man in the middle detection, which is pretty neat. Uh, not a lot of apps offer that. And the fact that it's all built in one, that's pretty nice that you can detect different types of rogue attacks on your network. Uh, there's also ARP spoofing detection, which can prevent and detect a man in the middle attack where you can even block that when an attack is attempted. So if you're getting a man in the middle attack, it can block the connection to the internet for that. Uh, or at least the destination. So it automatically can detect it and then I can even have it set to block it when it detects the attack. Haven't tested this out, but just introducing the settings today. Uh, you have a firewall here, you have some settings for that. Um, we can go down here, DNS crypt. So it shows you some of the servers, use servers that are implemented using the DNS crypt protocol. So encrypted DNS requests and that will prevent you from having proxy DNS attacks where someone will try to redirect you to another server location in order to manipulate or gather information on something that you're visiting. So we can go down here to our tour settings. You can even exclude certain exit nodes. Now I hear a lot of people do this that have concerns about the spying of the 14 or the 5i networks um, and I don't really subscribe to doing that. I don't really believe it's necessary, but you know, when you consider this setup, this setup altogether, having Invisible Pro with an I2P browser setup, and then you also have a Tor browser setup, uh, even a real Tor browser setup as well. Um, so you can make all of that work technically. And then what you're doing is you're not just sitting in one place. And the key to anonymity is to not be a sitting duck. So by using all of these different protocols and networks, you're actually, you're your packets, your your network traffic is going through several different places at the same time, but it's it's also, you know, residing, you're visiting from I2P, you're visiting from Tor inside the Tor network, inside I2P. Uh, so your traffic is not just going through one proxy or one VPN, which is a very weak protection for anyone who's interested in anonymity together. So you can actually do that. You can exclude which places you don't want to use the exit nodes of. So if you don't trust those countries, you think they're doing mass surveillance, uh, really, you know, when it comes to mass surveillance, you're going to see countries that will be buying servers, controlling those in different countries anyway. So you can't rely on that as a way to prevent the kind of surveillance that people think it is. But, you know, it is an option, so it's cool they offer you that option. You can go into your I2P settings if you want to, but all of this is already enabled, so you don't actually need to change these settings. Really, all you have to do is start it up, then get yourself browser settings set up. Uh, what I've done is I've actually made it VPN mode, so as you see that little key at the top, so that means that all of the traffic on the phone is going to be going through the Tor network, except for where I have it set up in the private privacy browser to proxy through I2P. So you'll have an I2P browser set up if you follow these instructions. You'll also have the rest of things torified as well. And for uh, other DNS requests, you also have the option to enable the DNS crypt as well. So pretty neat application, I thought. And it also does take donations. So if you like the app, you know, it's always a good idea to support these kinds of things, especially when they're 100% free to users. So if you like the app, you could always give a donation. Uh, I thought it was a great app to introduce you guys to today. Um, you can take a look and see which applications are trying to perform different DNS requests. So this is DNS related, and you can actually see those addresses and applications in that log as well. So you have access to the logs all in one place. Pretty neat. And if you want to actually get you know, into the nitty gritty, you can even edit your tour.conf file directly. And that's if you know what you're doing, um, you can do that. I even saw something about Hotspot, which I thought was pretty interesting. That if they're doing that, I'm not sure if it's for a Wi-Fi hotspot. I haven't actually looked into that part yet, uh, but it's pretty neat. So you have Hotspot Experimental. Uh, I haven't looked at that yet, but maybe we'll cover this app again and talk a little bit more. Unfortunately, I don't have a camera stand today, so I'm just holding it. I'm actually out of town at the moment. I'm still traveling this month, um, so for the rest of the month. So I'm not going to have all of my hardware with me, but... At the same time, I'm doing the best I can to try and get this video because I really thought it was a cool app and I thought you guys would enjoy it. So if you like Orbot 
and you want something that can help protect your traffic that can help you know create a larger haystack for your traffic so it can't be as isolated to you because you're actually in more than one place when you have a tour browser set up you have an i2p browser set up you're visiting sites from both you can even do the out proxy setup as well in your i2p settings so i haven't actually tested that out yet um, but if you hit this uh, you could change that to the stormy cloud out proxy or you can keep it on the false.i2p which i've used as well I actually usually use a couple different out proxies and that's something as well you can use to your advantage for an better anonymity by not just using a single out proxy uh, you actually spread yourself out a little more so these are just some tips on usage and uh, make sure if you want an easy I2P setup check out Invisible Pro here really easy to do on your Android sit access i2p network with purple i2p get the privacy browser which is this one right here and you can visit all the i2p sites in that once you set your proxy settings down here to i2p so pretty cool app what do you think do you like this app have you ever used it before any other things that people may want to know about I thought this app was pretty interesting because it had so many different options. Also has an ability to detect man-in-the-middle attacks on your network. So what a man-in-the-middle attacks, you know, with ARP spoofing and everything, there's other options as well for man-in-the-middle attacks. But with ARP spoofing, you know, it's going to basically redirect that traffic as if they are you or your router, and they're then able to manipulate that traffic. So by setting it up to detect these kinds of uh, attacks on your network and you can prevent those by disabling any man in the middle attacks as well at least on the ones they detect so thought this was an interesting app what do you think have you tried it and if you do try it are you having trouble getting it to work you know one other thing one other tip i want to mention if you have orbot set up you're going to want to disable that vpn mode while using invisible pro so you'll need to go into your settings in android uh, you can go to your dns here and then you can just disable the private DNS that comes on something like Graphene, for example. So you want to make sure you don't have anything else running that could interfere with it. Uh, but really cool app, I thought, and I thought you guys may enjoy trying it out. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like apps like these? Do you want to see more apps like these? Let me know in the comments. I'll be covering videos I want to cover because... That's what I do. I cover things I enjoy and that I think you will find interesting. So make sure to share the video, guys. Help spread the word and get the channel out there. Really appreciate it. I've done over 300 videos and I put a lot of work into it. So I really appreciate your help sharing these videos. And I'll be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.